Hi again, everybody. It's uh, Sino Rebel uh, Basketball here uh, this afternoon. SinoRebels.tv and the uh, Scordal Network. Kevin Farr along with you uh, from uh, Dale here this afternoon in the uh, Dale Boomerang Classic Consolation Championship game as the uh, Rebels take on the, the Oklahoma Christian Academy Eagles. Same team the... Uh, Lady Rebels played yesterday, same school, uh, and came away with the uh, semifinal victory. This one for the uh, Consolation Championship of the uh, tournament. OCA comes in a, uh, with a two-and-four season record, but uh, they have played a brutal schedule. Uh, several ranked opponents, and uh, they uh, fell to uh, Class 4A 7th ranked Crossings Christian by uh, 15. Uh, lost one to uh, 3A, 18th ranked uh, Christian Heritage by 13. And uh, a win on Tuesday on the road as they defeated uh, Class A, 7th uh, ranked uh, Sorrell by three points on the uh, road. Dro dropped a two-point decision to Class 5A Elgin in the opening game of this tournament. And then uh, defeated Afton yesterday, 60-16 to to reach this uh, contest. Silo, meanwhile... Five and two for uh, Coach Bobby Wild. Lost a uh, tough one on uh, Thursday night uh, or Thursday evening, uh, 60 to 52. Uh, fell to uh, Oklahoma Christian School, who was in the finals against Dale tonight. That was a, a four-point game with about a minute and a half left, and uh, then uh, they defeated Dale's JV yesterday to move on to this consolation championship. Uh, Action against OCA should be a good contest. The uh, Eagles have uh, a couple of pretty good players. Uh, Logan Williams is their uh, leader. He had a uh, nice contest. Uh, he was the top scorer yesterday in the uh, win over Afton. Good perimeter shot. And he is uh, the offensive leader for the uh, Eagles. We are uh, getting set for the uh, opening tip of this uh, contest. I don't think we're going to have uh, starting lineups here today. Uh, the uh, Rebels will send out the uh, normal starting five, I believe, with uh, Kyler Proctor, Carter Parker, Connor Cornell, Charlie Gardner, and Ethan Wilkerson. The uh, starters struggled early yesterday, and uh, Coach Weil, uh, he... Uh, a little bit frustrated, went to the uh, bench, and the uh, reserves had a sensational second quarter, 26-point second quarter by the uh, reserves to extend that lead, which was just uh, three points over Dale's Junior Varsity in that uh, contest at the time, and then uh, Silo ended up uh, pulling away for the 68-45 uh, win. So uh, the uh, starters, uh, Proctor, a 5'11 junior. He averages uh, about uh, 17 uh, points a uh, contest coming into this tournament, 17.8. Carter Parker, 6'0 junior. Uh, Connor Cordell, a 5'10 junior. Charlie Gardner, a 6'1 sophomore. And Ethan Wilkerson, the uh, 6'7 sophomore. Wilkerson had 22 points on Thursday night in the uh, loss to Oklahoma Christian, uh, 11 in limited action yesterday to go along with 10 rebounds and block five shots. So we are about set for the uh, opening tap. Wilkerson's going to jump it up against Hudson Greer for OCA. Also out there for the Eagles, Carter Owens, along with Thompson, Thompson Whitehead, Logan Williams, the uh, team's leading scorer, and Carson Thomas. He is a, a pretty good outside shooter as well. Opening tap controlled by the Rebels, and they will start offensively wearing the all-blue with the uh, red trim driving inside off the uh, interior pass to uh, Wilkerson and a quick foul on OCA. Trying to keep Wilkerson from getting to the basket. Foul is called on Hudson Greer. That'll be his first, first team foul. Inbounds pass goes to uh, Cordell. Eagles matching up out of a zone here. Looks like a 2-1-2 uh, two, uh, zone. Interior pass goes to uh, Gardner. Shot's no good. Gets his own rebound. Back up. Wilkerson with a shot. And the follow. Wilkerson 
with the nice little baby hook. Gets his first points here this afternoon, and the uh, Rebels lead 2-0. 30 seconds in. Back the other way. Silo starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. They swing it around. Here's Thomas. Drive. A hanger. Shot is no good. Rebound. Control. Logan Williams out front. Going to pull up just inside the free throw line. His shot's no good. Offensive rebound. Put back try. No good. Another offensive rebound for the Eagles. They kick it out. Missed the three. Long rebound. Into the hands of OCA once again. Fifth opportunity this Possession, four straight offensive rebounds for OCA. Not what you want if you're Coach Weil. Bounce pass goes inside, working against uh, Cordell. The shot is up by Carter Owens. It's no good, but Cordell's going to be whistled for the foul. And it's going to be free throws for OCA. The Eagles have come out crashing the boards and Taking advantage of those uh, second chance opportunities as uh, that one is good by uh, Carter Owens. First point of the uh, game. Here's the next one. Rims out, no good. Proctor skies in for the uh, board. Rebels up by a point, this possession. Parker fires it across the Cordell, inside. Wilkerson, head fake, gets two defenders in the air, shot. On the fallaway is no good, but Gardner has an offensive rebound. Back out. Wilkerson's going to try a three. That one rims out no good. Gardner battling inside once again for the rebound, but can't come up with it. OCA comes away with a loose ball. Down with it are the Eagles. Whitehead. Pass it around. Now Whitehead's going to get it back. Driving shot is up and good. Got around a defender. Whitehead with the uh, bucket, and uh, the Eagles lead it. By a point. Parker tosses it off. Cordell now. Feed it. Wilkerson inside. Pass. Gardner underneath. Oh, he's called for a... Oh, no, I thought he was going to get a travel, but they're going to say it's a foul on the floor. Spray they had uh, a travel on Charlie. First personal foul on Williams. Inbounds pass goes. Parker, three tries, no good. There's Gardner with the follow. Can't get it in. Has the offensive rebound and uh, had it. Lost it off his hands and out of bounds. Gardner's done a good job on the uh, glass here, but has not been able to cash in those uh, offensive boards for points. Back the other way. Eagles with a one-point lead. This time, uh, Jones gets around uh, Parker, kicks it out now for three, and uh, there's Carson Thomas. Talked about he has a good three-point shooter, and he hits the tray, and it's a uh, six-to-two lead for uh, OCA. Up four here early against the Rebels. Trying to get something going offensively. Wilkerson cut off by two defenders, passes off to Parker in the paint. His uh, shot left short. Ten-footer there by uh, Parker. Just left it short and knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Silo. Just two points here in the uh, first uh, three-plus minutes for the Rebels. Inbounds goes to Wilkerson. He's turned around 15-footers up and good. Both buckets have come from Wilkerson. Cuts the lead back to two for OCA. Back down with it. Here's a three. Thomas, no good. Long rebound. It's loose and scrambled for and saved by the Eagles. They get it back. Another second chance opportunity. Pass goes down to the baseline. They kick it out. Thomas out just on the uh, three-point line. Owens hits the bucket from 18 feet. It's 8-4. Eight to four is the OCA lead. Pass goes. Wilkerson double teamed at the free throw line. Gives it back out to Proctor. Work it to Gardner. Now to uh, Wilkerson. Draws the double team. Swing it. Cordell left open for a second. Pass up the shot. Gives it to Wilkerson. And his 10-footer 
Bounces off, no good. Cornell with an offensive rebound, and he's going to be fouled on the putback try. Wilkerson's got two defenders around him pretty much every time he touches the uh, basketball. Two Eagles right on him. And it is going to be a free throw up and good by uh, Cordell. Should be uh, eight to four. Yeah, it's eight to four. Or eight to five now as the uh, next one is no good. Eight to five is the lead for OCA after the missed free throw. Eagles have the basketball. They work it down the uh, court. Out front, Creighton Jones. Guarded there by Parker. Pass off on the left side. They'll drive in, kick it out. Three-point tries, no good. That rebound's tapped back out. Another offensive board for OCA. Long three is good by uh, Carson Thomas. He's the sharpshooter. And the Rebels want a timeout. Down 11-5 here. Another uh, slow start. Offensively, much like yesterday, and uh, the uh, Rebels take a quick timeout. Coach Wild talking it over. Followed down 11 5. Couple of three pointers already for Carson Thomas, the uh, perimeter sharpshooter for the Eagles. Parker tosses it across the zone. There's Cornell. Now Gardner hits a three point shot, is blocked, and the rebound is going to be out of bounds off of OCA. Not a lot of urgency does not appear part of the uh, Rebels right now. Standing flat-footed, Cordell, three-point shot off the inbounds pass is up and good. Cordell hits the uh, rare three. He's got four points. That cuts the lead to three. It's 11-8. Now there's Thomas, long three once again. That one is short this time. Wilkerson at inside position for the rebound, and it's going to be a foul as a uh, push in the back by the Eagles, and that's going against Hudson Greer. That'll be his second. He's going to the bench. Checks out. Silo down three this trip. Chance to tie. Three-pointer by Parker's no good. Skying in is uh, Gardner, but he can't get the rebound. OCA pulls it down. Eagles. Working offensively, uh, Creighton Jones back out front. Here's a drive, cut off, double teamed in there, and there's a pass stolen by Cordell in the passing lane. Layup, good. Cordell goes coast to coast. And Connor Cordell with six quick ones here early on. Rebels back within a point. Cordell has uh, provided a spark. Already six points. He averages 5.6 a game. Here's Thomas for three. That one's no good. Rebound into the hands of Gardner. Rebels want to push it, and a foul is going to be called. That'll be the 15th foul on the Eagles. So, uh, Silo, a little bit of a, a flurry. After the uh, timeout, checking in is the uh, freshman, Kaysen Taylor. With a minute 34 to go. Taylor 
Had an instant offense off the uh, bench yesterday. 11 straight points for the uh, Rebels. We got a foul called away from the ball and going to be an illegal screen. I think it's going against Proctor. Yep. Proctor picks up the foul. That's his first, second team foul on Silo. Minute 27 to go. The Eagle lead is one. OCA with the basketball. Silo matching up out of his zone now. Here's a drive and an offensive foul as Cordell takes the charge. As he is prone to do there. Stepped in front, took the uh, charge, and a uh, OCA turnover, six team foul. Rebels are going to be in the bonus the rest of the uh, half on any eagle fouls. Down one this trip, Taylor right wing. Pass back out front to uh, Gardner. Off to Proctor, and there's another illegal screen. And see, they're going to get that one on, and they're going to get Cordell. That'll be the second foul on Connor. Minute to go. Rebels had a chance at the lead, but turned it over on the illegal screen. Dribbling out front is Thompson Whitehead. Gives it off there to Jones. They've got the court spread. Driving in Jones. Pass off on the left side. There's Kemar Crawford. Who came in at the last dead ball. Driving, Jones, kick out, Thomas for three, and uh, that one short. Rebound inside, Wilkerson had it, and he was battling two Eagles. And they're going to say it's silo basketball. Two Eagles were right there, and I don't know if it was going to be a foul or they said it was just silo ball. Back in is Parker. Cordell sits down with those two fouls. 18 seconds to go. Back to our cut to my Parker. Nice feed, and the layup is good. Gardner found him, cutting back door. The Rebels lead for the first time, 12-11. Five seconds to go. Drive, shot, no good. Rebound, Wilkerson, and that's going to do it for the uh, first quarter. So Silo comes back, scores the final seven points of the uh, period to take a 12-11 lead after one quarter. Here in the uh, consolation finals of this uh, Dale Boomerang Classic. Scoring numbers thus far. For the uh, Rebels, uh, Connor Cornell has led the way with six points. And Ethan Wilkinson with four, and the other two coming from Parker. Here in the uh, after one quarter. Gardner has not scored, but he has uh, really uh, been active on the glass with four rebounds thus far for Charlie. Second quarter, it's going to be silo, or excuse me, going to be OCA basketball to begin the uh, period. OCA basketball, the Eagles will have it. Silo with seven straight points to end the quarter and take the lead. Dribbling out front, Thompson Whitehead. OCA still has uh, spread the floor considerably, trying to uh, trying to get the uh, Rebels to come out of the zone. Here's a drive, shot up and good. Whitehead found an opening, gets the lay-in, puts OCA back in front, 13-12. Early moments of this second quarter. Pass goes Wilkerson to top of the key. He's double-teamed way out there. Parker left open for three. He misses on the right wing. Long rebound controlled by OCA. Bringing it down, attacking the basket. Thomas shot no good, and 
He draws the contact and the foul on Wilkerson. That'll be Ethan's first. And Carson Thomas going to the line. He's got six points, both the three-pointers early, and misses that free throw. A one-point lead. And the Eagles and Thomas uh, missed the next one as well. Missed them both. Wilkerson pulls down his fourth rebound of the game. Back down. Proctor. Gardner inside. Wilkerson double team. Still goes up. Shot no good. Rebound to OCA. Loose ball. Now it's still loose on the court. And we got a whistle. And see who the uh, foul's going on. And it's going on OCA. And they're going to say... Owens fouled Proctor battling uh, for that loose ball, and that's going to be the seventh team foul, and Proctor's going to shoot one and one here, trying to give the uh, Rebels the lead back. 6.50 to go here in the uh, first half. The free throw is good. Caught the front iron, and... Uh, Rolled around for a second, but fell through. Here's the next one, and that one is no good. Didn't get the uh, benefit of the roll that time. We're tied at 13. Thomas, drive, stops, pops, shot, no good. Rebound, tapped out, into the hands of Thomas. Eagles regain possession. And a lot of offensive rebounds already here for OCA. Had four on one possession. A drive down the center of the lane. Dish off. Shot goes up. It's no good. Wilkerson might have altered that one, and he gets the rebound. Going to dribble it down into the front court. They're coming with the double team immediately. Ball goes into the hands of Proctor. Back inside. Wilkerson finds the lane to the basket. He puts it up and in. Nice, smooth, left-handed shot. And puts Silo back in front. Wilkerson with his sixth point. Coming back in. The shot is blocked this time as Owens went up for the shot inside. And Wilkerson knocked it out of bounds. Look at the inbound. They do. Down on the baseline. Eagles have it. Driving shot inside. Ball it's no good. Ball's tapped around and picked up by Proctor in the corner. Gives it off to Kaysen Taylor. He'll bring it up. The freshman into the front court, attacking toward the basket. Ball is knocked out of bounds by OCA. Subs coming in for the Eagles. Uh, Creighton Jones back in the uh, game. Inbounds goes Wilkerson just inside the free throw line. Double team there. Kicks it off. Parker open for three. Shot is no good. Loose ball on the rebound. Gardner comes away with the offensive board. Kicks it out. Par Proctor for three. He hits it. And Wilkerson a little bit shaken up. He was battling inside. There was three defenders. And I think he might have got poked in the eye or hit in the face. Proctor hits the three. First Three for Proctor today. The lead is five for Silo, largest of the game thus far. Rebels continue matching up out of the uh, zone. Well, actually, they're in a man. Switched it up here. Now, working out front, Williams along with Owens, and he's going to pull up, fall away from uh, about six feet is up and good. Carter Owens with the bucket. Lead trimmed back to three. Proctor will work it down this time. Gardner calling for the ball on the offside. He's all by himself over there on the right wing. Swings it down to Parker. Back to Proctor. Drive down to the baseline. And the pass deflects off the foot of one of the Eagles and out of bounds. 427 left here in the uh, first half. Silo up by three. Inbounds goes Proctor, fakes the shot, gives it out. Gardner will pull the trigger. It's no good. 
Wilkerson, offensive rebound, puts it back up and in. Two defenders right there, but Wilkerson was managed to put it back in. Eighth point and sixth rebound for Wilkerson. It's a five-point silo lead. Three-point try on the other end is up and good. There's Logan Williams. He can shoot it as well. Thomas and Williams, the best two perimeter shooters, the lead back to two, and interior pass goes to Wilkerson, and he's going to be fouled. They just they got two defenders trying to keep Wilkerson from catching the uh, basketball inside, and it's tough going. That foul goes on Crane Jones. Wilkerson's going to the line, one and one. Free throw, and it rims out no good. The rebound is going to be out of bounds off of Gardner. Wilkerson couldn't cash in the front end of the bonus there. Leaves it at a two-point silo lead. 3.42 to go here in the opening half. Drive down the left side of the lane by Whitehead. Gives it off back out front. Owens will reset things for OCA. Closely guarded by Parker. Now running a weave out front. Williams will drive. Cut off. Down to the baseline. Goes to Crawford. Back out. Kicked it out. Here's Thomas for three. It's no good. Rebound off Proctor. And he wants to push it. He's got numbers in transition. Taking it all the way himself. And oh, can't get the finish. But he's fouled. And we go to the line. Had a look like was going to have a chance at the uh, three-point play. But just... The ball rolled off the front of the rim and off with 3.10 to go. That's the uh, third foul, however, on Williams, and he's going to have to go to the bench at least for the rest of this half, more than likely. Checking in for uh, Silo as well as Sean Weaver. Proctor, second free throw is good. Made them both. Rebels back up by four at 22-18. See what the Eagles do now with Williams, their uh, leading scorer out of the game, and uh, they are going to take a timeout. Coach Roman takes the timeout. Williams out of the game with three fouls. Going to be a 30-second timeout here. Mentioned Sean Weaver checked in, the 5'7 sophomore, and uh, he had a uh, solid effort uh, yesterday, four points. His season high coming off the uh, bench. Okay. Trying to give uh, the uh, Rebels a little bit of a uh, spark. Cordell sitting over there with the uh, foul difficulties here, much of this second period. We've got 2.57 to go, opening half. The inbounds pass to uh, Whitehead. Gives it to Owens. Rebels back defensively and a drive, and they're going to get a foul on, yep, they're going to get a blocking foul on Proctor, and that'll be his second. Five team fouls on the uh, Rebels, but that one... I say a shooting foul, and Owens going to the line, misses. 2.48 to go in the half. Silo by four, and make it three as Owens hits the second. Down quickly, Proctor into the front court. Pass looking inside for uh, Wilkerson, and he's going to be fouled immediately. Kimar Crawford, I don't know if the, uh, that's double bonus now. I don't know if the uh, Eagles strategy is just to foul Wilkerson and not let him attack the basket. But they did right there on the uh, pass and, well, he misses the free throw. He's 0 for 2 in this uh, contest at the line. 
And the second one is good, however. Lead back to five or four. Pass goes inside. Owen's shot is no good. Wilkerson pulls down the rebound. Point blank couldn't get it to fall. Rebels have it back with a four-point lead and the basketball. Proctor dribbles out front, steps back, now kicks it off. Parker thought about the three, but passed it up, and his pass inside is stolen away. Coming down the court, here come the Eagles. Two minutes left in the half. Whitehead's going to dribble back out, set things up from just the inside half court. Now lost the handle for a second, gets it back as it was deflected by uh, Gardner. A drive. Pass goes to Crawford on the baseline. Back out to Jones. Looking for help. Owens gets it inside. He's got Proctor on him. Gets around Proctor. Misses the shot. Proctor has the rebound. Here comes Kyler into the front court. Doesn't have the numbers, but he's going to step back and shoot a three. It's no good. Long rebound, however, to Wilkerson. He's got it at the free throw line. Goes up. Shot from 15 is good. Wilkerson in double figures with 11 along with eight rebounds, and the Rebels up by six. Eagles still spreading the floor. The four corners, look. Trying to get the uh, Rebels out of the paint. Here's the drive. Cut off. Gardner still on him, and there's going to be a foul on Charlie. And I think... Let's see if they're going to say it's shooting foul. And, yep, they're going to say it's on the shot. Gardner didn't agree with the call. At the line is going to be Thomas Whitehead with 55 seconds to go. Cordell checks back in for Gardner. Free throw is short. Whitehead misfires. Here comes the next one. And the second one is no good as well. Cordell with the uh, rebound. Rebels have it. Six-point lead. 50 seconds to go here in the first half, and they are going to spread it out this time. We'll see what the uh, OCA decides to do now. They got two uh, defenders standing with Wilkerson just outside the free throw line. Cordell standing, holding the basketball out near half court. They're playing man-to-man -man on Proctor all over the uh, floor. Doubling Wilkerson and man up on... Uh, Proctor, the other defenders are standing in the uh, paint. Cordell dribbles. Now he's going to attack. Ten seconds to go. Feed. Weaver. Now the ball's loose inside and going to be a double dribble called. Cordell had it back for a second. Tried to dribble and uh, the Rebels are going to turn it over with five seconds to go. Cordell fouls in the backcourt for his third foul. With three seconds to go, and that's going to send the Eagles to the line. Three seconds to go. An ill-advised foul. And the free throw, however, is no good. Proctor rebound, brings it down, throws up a shot from half court. It's no good at the buzzer, and that's the end of the uh, first half. 25-16, Silo leads it at the, or 25-19. The Rebels lead it by six at the break. Take a look at the uh, numbers for uh, Silo. They outscore uh, OCA in that period 13-8. Uh, to eight. Leading the way is Ethan Wilkerson, 11 points in the uh, first half despite a constant double team, eight, point, eight rebounds as well. Uh, they got six points from uh, 
Connor Cordell, six from uh, Kyler Proctor and two points from uh, Carter Parker in the first half of play. 25-19, Rebels by six at intermission. We will uh, pause here and be back for second half action coming up here in about 10 minutes right here on SiloRebels.tv and the uh, Scordal Network.
Welcome back. Ready to go here to start the uh, second half. It's going to be uh, silo uh, basketball on the alternating arrow. Rebels uh, leading by six at uh, the uh, break. <coughs> Going from left to right this uh, half. Check the uh, lineup. There's Case and Taylor in the uh, game uh, to begin the uh, second half. Three-point try from uh, Carter Parker's no good. And going to have a uh, whistle and a travel on OCA on the rebound. Taylor's out there along with the uh, Rebels uh, for the original five starters. Uh, Cornell's on the bench with three fouls. Uh, Connor Proctor, along with uh, Ethan Wilkerson, Carter Parker, and Charlie Gardner. Parker has it left wing. Back out front, there's uh, Taylor. Feed it to the free throw line. Wilkerson's double team there. Back out Proctor. Eagles in a zone defense, sagging in on Wilkerson. He catches the basketball, and he's immediately fouled. And Let's see, that foul is going... Oh. Said it's on Carson Thomas. Didn't look like he was anywhere close. Thought it was 22. Pass goes to the baseline. Gardner inside. Nice move. Shot no good. Taylor has the offensive rebound. Gets it back out. Here's Wilkerson for three, and that one's off the mark. Missed wide left on the uh, shot attempt, and it's out of bounds to uh, the Eagles. <coughs> First possession of the uh, second half for OCA. Rebels 2-1-2 zone and extending it a little bit this time. And uh, there's going to be a foul called on Case and Taylor. On the drive. A grab there. First foul on Taylor. Inbounds pass goes. Now back to Owens who inbounded it. And too far underneath the basket. His shot was no good. Gardner has the rebound, and the Rebels down with it offensively. Proctor, left wing. He'll pull the trigger on a three. It's no good. Rebound is out of bounds off of OCA, off the hands of uh, Logan Williams. Williams playing with three fouls. They inbound it. Gardner out front. Feed it to Wilkerson, cutting to the uh, lane. His shot is no good from 10 that time. Rebound is off. No second chance opportunities against his zone as the rebound was all Eagles. Now they spread the floor once again. Spin in the paint. His shot is no good. Off the mark from Whitehead. Wilkerson has the rebound. Wants to push it. Down with it. Parker. Layup is good. Carter Parker has his fourth point. Wilkerson pushed it down the floor. Got the assist. Now coming the other way. There's Williams for three, and he'll hit it. So just like that, the Rebels were up eight, and it's back to five. 6.03 to go here in the uh, third. Gardner right wing, pass to Wilkerson, double team, just inside the lane, his spin move, shot is no good, left it short. Went with the left hand that time. Now coming the other way, drive all the way down to the baseline by Thomas, back out, here's a shot up, it's no good from uh, Carter Owens, and the foul's going to be called on Proctor, and that's his third. Three fouls on Kyler. Got to be careful now. And the free throw is no good by Owens. Fortunately, the um, Eagles have struggled somewhat at the charity stripe here uh, this afternoon. Proctor's going to check out as Connor Cornell's back in with his three fouls. Owens hits the free throw. The lead is cut to four. Gardner's going to uh, handle the basketball now. Gets it down. Cordell left wing. Bounce pass goes inside to uh, Wilkerson. Back to Cordell. Just inside the free throw line. Back to Wilkerson in the paint. And, oh, three-second count. Called for three seconds. That took too much time to uh, develop, and the uh, Rebels turn it over. <laughs> 519 to go. Lead down to four. They cut it in half. And a travel inside on Owens. 
Gives it back to the uh, Rebels here. 5-11 to go. Substitute checking in is uh, Creighton Jones for OCA. Now down. Here's Taylor for three. It's no good. Missed everything, and it's out of bounds to uh, the Eagles. <laughs> Couple empty possessions for the uh, Rebels. Stuck on 27 points here. They led 27 19 just a uh, couple minutes ago. Owens around defender. Shot is blocked by Wilkerson from behind, and he gets the rebound. Tenth rebound for Ethan. Down with it, Taylor. Passed up the shot, down to Cordell in the right corner. Bounce pass goes to Wilkerson. Now it's out of his reach, and it's stolen by OCA. Here come the Eagles once again, still down four. Down to the baseline. Here's a wild pass back out front. Off to Williams. He'll try a three. It's no good. Parker has the offside rebound for a silo. One and done were the Eagles that time. Midway point of this third quarter. Gardner around a defender. Driving shot in the paint is off the mark. Rebound off to OCA. Here come the Eagles once again. Both teams have gone a little cold. Only Rebel points this quarter was on a uh, Parker layup. We are over halfway through the third. Drive by Williams to the baseline. He's cut off by two defenders. Now gives it back out to Whitehead. We'll give it off to Jones. Rebels in a man-to-man -man defense against OCA this trip. A dribble, drive, wild shot is off the mark. Here's a pass down, Cornell, and in front of everybody, layup is good on the reverse layup by Connor Cornell, and we've got a timeout called. Rebels get another layup, finally in the uh, scoring drought. But uh, pretty good de defense. Actually, it was a matchup zone that time. The Rebels are switching up defenses. That's causing uh, the Eagles some problems. So the after the uh, timeout, it's going to be a six-point silo lead. That bucket from uh, Cornell gives him eight points on the day. That's three off his season high. So back out there, following the uh, timeout, Parker, Gardner, Cordell, Taylor, and Wilkerson. Proctor still on the bench with those three fouls. And uh, let's see, we've got a uh, stoppage here. I think uh, had some blood uh, we're trying to take care of. So, uh, well, waiting on somebody to uh, for cleanup duty. Officials talking to both coaches. I think it's Owens that had uh, some uh, blood on his jersey. <coughs> They're just going to switch jersey tops. Now here comes Owens back, wearing number 14. So, OCA basketball. Working it down. <clears throat> Running the weave out front. Here's a three. It's no good. Off the mark from Thomas. That a little bit too far out that time. Taylor has the rebound. Kaysen's going to bring it down for their 
The uh, Rebels, three minutes to go here in the third. Driving inside by Gardner. Down to the baseline, Cornell. Double team there, and the ball is poked away, but a foul is called on OCA. That's going to go against Owens. Owens, the guilty party there. Second team foul, and uh, there's a pass on the inbound, stowing away. Thomas comes away with the uh, loose ball. Gets it right back, and they're going to turn it over as uh, Williams took an extra step and travels, gives it right back. Exchange of turnovers. That last foul by Owens was his third. Eagles in his zone. Trying to match up with Wilkerson. He got it at the free throw line. Double team there. Back out Taylor. Passed up the shot, and his pass is stolen away. Taking it down. Thomas stops, shoots, misses. Gardner has the rebound. And, oh, Gardner kept going. Thomas stopped and left the shot short, and uh, he's going to be guilty of the uh, foul as Gardner got back in there to uh, rebound it. Rebels caught a break right there, and that is going to be uh, Thomas's third personal foul. So Williams and Thomas, the two leading scorers for OCA, both on the bench now with three fouls. 2.16 to go here in the third period. See if the Rebels can distance themselves here. Ta Taylor passed up to three. Pass inside. Wilkerson double team. Now triple team, and it's going to be called for a travel. Was trying to get through all the congestion inside with three defenders around him. But traveled with the basketball. Eagles have it right back. Owens dribbling out front. He is really the only playmaker they have on the court right now. Rebels in a man-to-man -man defense. They're going to try a long three, and that one is off the mark from uh, Whitehead. Rebound off Case and Taylor. Brings it up into the front court. Between the leg dribble, off Wilkerson for three, and he was bumped but no call. Loose ball on the rebound as Gardner feeds Wilkerson. Layup is good. Gardner with a, another big rebound and uh, fed a cutting Wilkerson, and that's his first points of this quarter for Ethan and just really the uh, sixth point for Silo. Offense has become a little stagnant here in the uh, third. Wilkerson trying to finish the three-point play and does to give him 14 points, and the Rebels now lead by nine. Minute 21 to go. OCA without their two leading scores, both on the bench at the moment. Here's a three from the left corner. That one is no good. Rebound off to Silo, and they were headed out in transition Cornell, but a foul is whistled on the Eagles. And it's going against Hudson Greer. So Silo has a chance to extend the lead to double figures. As I mentioned, uh, see if they can extend it some here now with OCA missing their top two scores for the last two minutes or so. Three-pointer from Taylor is no good, and ooh, a foul on Wilkerson on the rebound. Long rebound out there, and Wilkerson picks up his second personal. All this has been done here in the uh, third quarter, extending the lead to nine with Proctor on the bench with three fouls. I would imagine Coach Wild goes back to him in the fourth. Here's a drive. Owens shot is good and a foul. Uh, Owens taking on the offense himself. And he's got a chance to cut this to six. Case and Taylor just picked up his second personal. Owens, really the main playmaker out there with uh, Williams and Thomas both on the bench. He's at the line, 36 seconds to go here in the third. 
Free throw, rims out, no good. But an offensive rebound for Crawford, and he's going to feed Owens for the layup. Oh, man, a four-point trip down the floor for OCA, and it goes from a nine-point lead to five. Silo's going to pull it out, try to play for the last shot here. 17 seconds to go. Gardner's dribbling out near half court, and he's the time the count was on to four, finally gets it off to Wilkerson. Wilkerson to Gardner, six seconds left. Gardner, the pass is deflected. Wilkerson had it for a second. Now it's taken by Crawford. Long pass down. They're not going to get a shot off before the horn, and that's the end of the third quarter. Five-point lead for Silo as we head to the uh, third or fourth quarter. Rebels lead cut by a point in that period as they manage just seven points as the offense went a little stagnant in the uh, third. Ethan Wilkerson has led the way with 14 to go along with 10 rebounds. Connor Cornell, the next leading scorer with eight, and Connor Proctor has six with Carter Parker adding four. Eight minutes to go, Silo looking for its sixth win of the uh, season. Against the uh, game bunch of Eagles who uh, talked about the uh, pregame. That uh, they have played a pretty uh, rugged schedule this season. Even though the record's not great for OCA at two and four. Going to be Eagle basketball to begin the uh, fourth quarter. Proctor's back out there. Original starting five for the Rebels. Proctor and Cornell both out there with three personal fouls. Parker goes for the steal, comes up empty. But the Eagles maintain possession. They've got the court spread, a trap there, and oh, a foul's going to be called. The foul is called on uh, Gardner. They had the double team on the trap, and oh, it's going to be a, a timeout called before the foul. OCA gets the uh, timeout. Officials talk it over, said they got the timeout before the foul was called on Gardner as the uh, trap came at uh, midcourt. So it's going to be still OCA basketball, but uh, avoid, uh, avoid getting that uh, foul on Gardner. Four team fouls right now on Silo. Seven forty one to play here in the uh, fourth quarter. It's a uh, five point rebel lead. Thomas and Williams back on the floor for OCA. Owens has it out on the uh, top of the key. He'll drive, splits two defenders, goes up, shot blocked by Wilkerson, but into the hands of Crawford, who puts it up and in. The lead down to three. Crawford has his first uh, points of the day. Rebels break the pressure. Here's Proctor. Attacks. Kicks it out. Now Cornell left open. Passed up to three. Gives it off. Back out front. Gardner, they swing it around. Wilkerson working inside the uh, zone. Here's a drive by Gardner. Pulls up from ten and hits it. Charlie Gardner, first points today. He had a big fourth quarter the other night to give the uh, Rebels a chance against o OCS. 
Five-point lead. Drive. Williams looked like he might have traveled, but no call. And he spins and puts it up and in over the outstretched arms of Wilkerson. Again, a three-point advantage for Silo. Parker, right wing. They swing it around, still in that zone. Extending it a little more. And here's a pass intended for Wilkerson. He does get it and puts it up and in. Crawford had it in his hands and just somehow lost it. Wilkerson comes away with the loose ball and the bucket. The lead back to five. 16 points for Ethan. Here's a steal by Gardner. Gardner out in transition. He's going to take it all the way in. Oh, he's going to travel. Stopped and hesitated and should have just kept on going there. So can't cash in the uh, steal and extend the lead further. It's still a five-point advantage. Five and a half minutes left. Here's Gardner with another steal. Back-to-back -back steals for Charlie. Now he's going to slow up this time. Proctor will attack on the left side. Now in the paint. The ball's kicked. Oh, they're going to call a travel on Proctor before that. So the uh, Rebels waste back-to-back -back steals by uh, Gardner. Can't cash them in as they turn it right back over to the Eagles. 5.20 to go. Here's Owens. Splits the defender, or splits two, and uh, gets the pass off to Crawford inside, and he hits the bucket. Crawford has a couple of... Buckets here in the uh, fourth quarter, and again, the lead back to three at 36-33. Down, Cordell's going to try a three and hit it from the left corner. He's been eyeing it for a while. Cordell's in double figures. He has equaled his season high. And Silo back up six. Owens fakes the shot. Looking to drive against Gardner. The ball's tipped away. Gardner with his third steal of the quarter. Gardner has it left wing. Back out front, Cordell. He's going to pull the trigger again. It's no good this time. And the rebound is off to Crawford for OCA. Back with it for the Eagles. 4.15 remaining in the fourth. Pass off on the right side. Jones has it. Back out to Williams. Off to Thomas. Thomas drives inside. Shot no good. Left it short. Wilkerson pulls down his 11th rebound of the game. He's going to dribble it down this time. Off to Gardner. See if the Rebels spread the floor now and try to get the Eagles out of this zone where Wilkerson has some room to maneuver. Here's Cordell, finds a lane to the basket, layup is good, and a foul by Connor. Connor Cordell with the bucket. He's got a new season and career high. Connor Cordell with 13 on the day, and the Rebels' lead is eight. He's going to the line as the uh, fourth foul is called on Carson Thomas. The free throw is no good, however. Still an eight-point silo lead. 3.27 to go. Eagles down by eight this trip. Pass out off the left wing to Owens. Looking inside, Williams cutting to the basket. Shot is no good. Cordell pulls down the rebound. Rebels have it back. They're up eight. Now, I would imagine they definitely will spread the floor. Here's Wilkerson way out front. He's double teamed. He's still double teamed. They're reaching in and going to commit a foul, and that should be the bonus. Yep, it is. Foul was on Thompson Whitehead. They came to double team uh, Wilkerson. A 30 feet from the basket, commit the foul. He's going to the line, one and the bonus, and we've got a timeout. 
Wilkerson to go to the line. Three minutes remaining. 3.02 to go exactly. And Silo up eight. Rebels take the uh, time out to uh, talk things over. They still have two remaining. Three timeouts left for OCA. Wilkerson going to the line, shooting one in the bonus here at the 3.02 mark of this fourth quarter. Rebels have led by nine briefly in the uh, contest. And they do again on that free throw by Wilkerson. This one to give Silo its biggest lead of the game with 3.02 to go. Wilkerson, it's up and it's good. 18th point of the day for Ethan. And Silo with its largest lead at 10, 43, 33. Down with the basketball. Left or right side of the uh, floor is Williams. Back out front to Owens. Rebels, uh, they're working in a uh, man-to-man -man defense this trip. Done a good job switching up the uh, defenses that uh, OCA been a little bit uh, out of sync trying to figure things out. Three-point point shot from Williams is no good. And Gardner has another rebound, and he will bring them all up the floor. Coming out to trap are the Eagles this time. They swing it across. Oh, Proctor fakes the shot, took an extra step, traveled, gives it right back with 2.22 to go. Eagle basketball. Down 10 this trip. Pass it off left side. Williams drives to the middle. Now feeds off. Gets it back, and there's a travel. Cordell comes out to uh, force a uh, turnover. It's been a nice game overall for Connor Cordell. He's got a new career high offensively and uh, has made some key plays on the defensive end as well. Pass down. Parker all alone underneath the basket. Shot is good. Gardner found him all alone underneath the basket. The Rebels pulling away here in the final two minutes. A three by Owens is no good. Proctor with the rebound. Here comes Silo. Wilkerson going to be fouled. Just outside the midcourt line, and he's going to go to the line. It's still one and one. That's just the eighth team foul on... OCA, a minute 37 remaining. Free throw is good. Ethan now with 19 on the uh, afternoon. To go along with the 11 rebounds. Next one, and it rims out. The lead is 13. Minute 33 left. Dribbling is Owens. He spins inside. That shot is knocked away by uh, Wilkerson. He was going up for the uh, shot, and I don't know if he did it intentionally. Wilkerson uh, kind of blocked it from behind, and it's going to be out of bounds off of Owens. Silo basketball against the pressure, uh, against the press. They're going to turn it over. Williams down to the baseline. A drive in by Whitehead. His shot is no good, but a foul called on Wilkerson, and that's going to be free throws on that driving shot by Whitehead. 
Rebels have done a good job defensively here most of the uh, contest, especially here in the second half. And that free throw is good by Whitehead. I've held the uh, Eagles to just 14 points here in the uh, final two quarters. Next shot, and it's good as well. Made them both. Cuts the lead to 11. Inbounds pass goes to Proctor, minute 10 to go. Long pass, nearly stolen. Cordell saves it. He takes it down, thought about the shot, now it goes for the pass. The ball is loose. Parker scrambling for it and saves it. Parker saves it in front of the uh, Rebel bench, and the pass out to Cordell. He's going to be fouled, and will shoot free throws. So Connor Cornell is going to the line. He's got a season and career high 13 points this afternoon. Minute remaining. And the free throw is no good. Missed the front end. Down with it. Owens takes it inside. Has it knocked away by uh, Gardner. And they're going to get a foul on Charlie. But should be on the floor. So that's just the six-team foul. Now Coach Wild is going to take his uh, timeout. Still going to have one remaining. 50 seconds left. Not wanting fouls right now. Trying to uh, talk it over and discuss that with his uh, troops. Silo leading by 11. They have uh, finally started to pull away here in the uh, fourth quarter. against a uh, solid uh, OCA squad. OCA going to inbound. And they'll trigger it in. Here's a three by Whitehead. It's no good. Rebound by uh, Parker. Gives it off to Proctor in the backcourt. He's double teamed. Needs some help. Pass goes to Wilkerson. And Wilkerson going to dribble it and get it across the midcourt line to Cordell. Out to Proctor, fakes the shot. Now he's going to dribble back out and hold the basketball. It's running time off here. Gardner off to Cordell and traveled. Twenty-three seconds to go. Rebels are going to win and improve to six and two here in this consolation championship game. It's not been a thing of beauty, but. Uh, Solid defense all around, and that shot is no good. Rebound is going to be out of bounds to uh, the Eagles with 15 seconds to go. They trigger it in. Williams going to try one from 15 and hit it. And OCA takes a timeout. That one cuts the lead to nine, but... Only 11.8 seconds remaining. Silo going to improve to 6-2 and two on the uh, season. The next action for the uh, Rebels coming up on Tuesday night. And what uh, should be a uh, big showdown at Calera. With the uh, Bulldogs currently ranked 11th in the uh, state in Class 2A. 
with the uh, Rebels at number seven coming into this weekend's action. That'll be uh, Tuesday night. We'll have it for you here on the uh, SiloRebels.tv, the uh, Scordal Network. Rebels on the road for that one. Inbounds pass goes to Wilkerson. He's going to dribble it up, passes it across to uh, Gardner with seven seconds to go. Gardner's going to dribble it out, and that should do it. 46-37 is the uh, final, and Silo is the consolation champions. Only loss of the uh, tournament coming to uh, Oklahoma Christian School, who will play in the uh, championship game, and I would think uh, might be the uh, favorite with uh, the uh, talented Luke uh, Gray inside leading the way. That's coming up to, uh, tonight. For the uh, Rebels, let's see... Uh, Rebels uh, take home the uh, Consolation Championship plaque as it is awarded here at the uh, conclusion of the uh, game. Let's see, final scoring numbers from this one. Uh, Ethan Wilkerson leads the way, 19 points, 11 rebounds. He blocked four shots. Connor Cornell with a season and career high 13 in the uh, game despite uh, being uh, mired in foul trouble early. Uh, six points for uh, Connor Proctor, six for Carter Parker, and two for Charlie Gardner in total for the uh, Rebels. 46 in total, and uh, they uh, pick up uh, the uh, victory, leading the way for OCA. Let's see, Hudson Greer ended up being the leading scorer with 11 for the Eagles. It's going to about do it for the uh, broadcast. Uh, we will be back on this evening here on the... Uh, SiloRebels.tv championship game of the girls' bracket. The uh, Lady Rebels will take on Dale, another Silo Dale shootout coming up tonight here at 7 o'clock in Dale for the uh, Boomerang Classic title. We'll be on back on for you in that one. So until uh, then, for uh, my uh, camera person, Keeley Blakely McClary, I'm Kevin Farr saying so long from now from Dale until uh, this evening. So long, everybody. <laughs>